Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to another vlog. Uh, I am sitting in bed and I, my life has been a little chaotic over the past uh, few weeks and it's been hard for me to sit down and, you know, do proper videos and I didn't want any more time to go by uh, without me putting up a video. So I thought I would vlog. Um, today's going to be an interesting day and I hope to be able to tell you uh, just later on in this vlog, why my life has been so chaotic. Um, but I also have a friend coming in from uh, from New York. Actually, she's my oldest, dearest friend uh, coming in from New York tomorrow. And so, of course, I wanted to pre-film because she's going to be here for four to five days. And, you know, it's, I, I don't want to work while she's here. And uh, I haven't gotten a chance to do it. So I hope to get this vlog up before she gets here. And I hope to pre-film a little bit before she gets here. But like I said, my days have... Uh, there's been a wrench thrown into, like, almost every single one of my days <laughs> for the past, like, week or so. And I'm like, <gasps> I didn't get to film again today. So... Anyway, um, what I did want to say also is that I will be, um, wow, look at my hair. This is so, the 80s are back. What I did also want to say is I will probably, most likely, be vlogging a lot over the next few weeks versus doing sit-down videos. Um, and again, I hope, I hope by the end of this vlog I'll be able to tell you exactly why, but I did just want to warn you that a lot of, of vlogging is coming and I hope you guys don't mind that. I also uh, just wanted to say thank you guys so much. I got so many sweet messages and cards on on or around Father's Day, for Father's Day, uh, letting me know that you guys were thinking of me. Some of you may not know, but my father passed away in March. Um, and so many of you were just reaching out, letting me know that you were thinking of me. And that really, that really meant a lot. It really, really meant a lot. And, um, you know, it was fine. It was fine. Father's Day was fine. I didn't feel more sad or more emotional on that day um, because it's just, you know, it's just sucked since he has passed. You know, that day didn't really stand out <laughs> to suck even more <laughs> than the other days. So um, anyway, thank you. Thank you for all of your kind messages. What else did I want to say? Oh, I did want to um, play around with some makeup that I purchased. Uh, again, I just I haven't been able to sit down and film it. I've been planning to film it for like five days now. And I'm like, what What has become of my life? Um, so I think I'm just going to throw it into this vlog and we're just going to play around with it real, real casual like. Um, but it's some Jones Road Beauty. It's Bobbi Brown's new line. And so many of you have been requesting me to, you know, get it and review it for you guys. So I got quite a few things, uh, not like a full face and, and not that her line is like a full, you know, like full beat makeup line or anything. So I think I got um, quite a bit of it uh, so that we can play around with that. So um, that's what we're going to do today. And again, hopefully by the end of this vlog, I'll be able to tell you what exactly it is that um, has turned my life upside down the past um, several weeks. So anyway, enough rambling. I have uh, showered. I actually, I just came back from like a faux trip to Miss Butter's school. I was going to take her. And as soon as I left, I started driving and she started throwing up. So I just turned right back, <laughs> turned right back around, uh, brought her inside, clean, clean off my car. Um, and, <clears throat> and now she's home. But I did like shower and kind of like air dry my hair, and, which was such a mistake because now it looks totally insane. Um, but uh, I'm going to get dressed and then we'll pull out some of that Jones Road Beauty stuff to play with. Oh, and I for totally forgot about this package that came from H&M. It's an order I placed, I feel like so long ago, and then it's just been sitting downstairs. Anyway, I just opened it up and well, let me just show you quickly what I got. So I got this caftan dress. It's pretty much just <laughs> like a moo, -moo. Um, but it's got this pretty v-neck here and it's, um, sewn down right here and then it has um like just cut off sleeves so real easy i feel like something that i could throw on on those days i'm feeling really really lazy but still look semi put together so that is number one and then next is this shirt dress that ties right here so it's not like a separate tie it's actually like connected to the dress looks really cool so thought I would get that and I love this color as you guys know it's like my favorite lip color 
um, but also like I love accessories and um, occasionally I will wear like a bright red like this um, in terms of clothing um, and I am a sucker for shirt dresses so <laughs> so this looked right up my alley the material is kind of interesting it's kind of like parachute -y a little bit I thought it was just going to be a little bit more like cotton poplin but yeah the fabric is just it's like a little bit more slick than that and then apparently I got the same thing in a different color I forgot that I did that um so yeah another shirt dress with the tie but this color I hope it's coming across on camera um it's like a like a minky brown and I really really love this color in fact so funny like this is like the perfect lipstick color to me <clears throat> excuse me and this is like the perfect eyeshadow <laughs> color to me oh and then i got the same thing um this is the first thing i showed you in that kind of khaki color it's the same idea it's like a big old mumu uh, v-neck with it sewn down here and then the cut off sleeves so this i really enjoyed because it's like you know leopard print you guys know how much i love animal print for clothing and for fashion um but it looks like it's watercolor so i really liked that so hopefully all these things look halfway decent on me <laughs> We'll see. Um, I don't think I have time to do like a full try on for you guys, uh, but I will be putting one of these on uh, to wear around today because it would be perfect. Again, it's been so, so hot here in Vegas that these, even the shirt dresses look a little bit too much. So I think I'm going to go with either the leopard print or the khaki. So let me put those on. Okay. Well, my room is a mess. Pardon that in the background. Um, it's a little, it's a little booby. I don't really like booby, <laughs> booby dresses, but it's a little bit booby. And then it's because it's pinned or sewn down here, it's hard to, you know, I couldn't just sort of like pin it here or something. It would do something weird here. I don't know. Maybe I just need to get over it. It's not like totally slutty, but <laughs> shows a little bit more booby than I like. Um, and it is a size large. And I think when it comes to H&M, I think I need to um, at least keep in mind like when they do an oversized style that it ends up being like really oversized and I should probably go down one size but I do like this I mean it couldn't be <laughs> any easier does it have pockets no if it had pockets it would be perfect but I think maybe I'll see if they have a medium you know they sell out so quickly in their clothing I think maybe I'll see if they have a medium order that and then return this but if not I think I will just keep this because it's yeah, it's just so easy. Ooh, awesome. So they had both colors that I got. There's actually a third color black, but they didn't have it in medium. Um, so I'm gonna order these two in medium and then return these two. Okay, I guess we are doing kind of a mini <laughs> try on haul here. Um, so this is the red dress and this I actually ended up getting in medium because uh, yeah, I don't think they had a large, which is the size I would normally get. Um, and this actually, yeah, I didn't think this was gonna be quite as oversized as their other dresses because it is, you know, it's a little bit more tailored with the buttons and stuff, but the medium I think works out. I have to steam it obviously, but I guess I'll wear this and look at the cuffs. Isn't that cool? They're like split, split cuffs, really neat. I guess this is the outfit for the day. I'm gonna steam this and put it back on. All right, outfit of the day. Sorry, this is such a bad, angle because my mirror is in this weird place anyway here it is I just steamed it up super comfortable and it feels really really cool and then there are these slits up the side I'm so glad I got this I wasn't sure because they only had that size medium left but I'm glad I'm glad H&M runs really really big <laughs> all right real vlog style here. I'm sitting actually where I normally film because I wanted to use my filming light so you guys could get a good idea of this Jones Road, jo wow, hi, Jones Road stuff. Um, it's actually that box right here. So I got two of the Miracle Balms. These were the things that looked the most interesting to me because by the description on the website, they seemed like you know, one of those like, put it all over your face or just put it in one spot or put it under or put it over or stuff. <laughs> I was like, how is that gonna work? Okay, um, I got one like powder eyeshadow. I got two of the little potted eyeshadows. They're gorgeous. I've already kind of swatched all of these. And then I got the face pencil, which was also very intriguing because it's sort of like the one base product that's part of this line. And 
I love the idea of that, but I'm also like, is this gonna work? And then I got the brow pencil. So we're gonna play with all of this stuff. I'm gonna start with this uh, face pencil and oh, I didn't mute my computer, sorry. You're gonna hear dings. Uh, face pencil, shade seven, which sounds deep. Let's see. Here's what the little pencil looks like. So it's like a, like a chubby pencil and Ooh, that does look kind of peachy. That should work though. My hand is a lot lighter than my face. Um, it feels very, very creamy and it does blend out nicely. So I'm gonna try this. Wow, <laughs> today was not a good day for this, like no makeup makeup look. I really need some like full coverage makeup. Anyway, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. I'm going to, I guess, Try underneath my eyes here. Yeah, I think this color will work actually. Oh God, let me, let me mute my computer. Okay, laptop is muted. Um, let me blend this in. I do have like all my skincare down. I do have a lot of SPF down because it's gonna be really sunny today. I mean, once you get concealer down, right, around the eyes, it's like instantly you just look so much more awake, less bedraggled. Let me try it around my nose here. I don't usually bother spot concealing my face, but I think because this is a pencil, it really lends itself to doing that, just sort of boop, 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 like just popping it on top of little blemishes and stuff. Huh. I have to say, I was kind of skeptical about this because I didn't think a pencil would be, like how creamy would a pencil have to be for it to be blendable? I thought it would just sort of like smush down, almost like a lip balm, but it's it's really interesting because it is fairly firm, you know? It does like actually work and feel like a pencil, but it is emollient enough that it's blending out pretty easily. Huh. Okay, well, would we expect anything less from the master Bobby Brown. <laughs> I do have the bigger spots here. Let's see how that does. The coverage I would say is like a light medium, but it really kind of definitely dampens those big old sunspots I have. And this shade seven really is a great shade match for me. So if you have a similar skin tone, to me, I think the seven will work. All right, wow, this is definitely a great option for those no makeup makeup days. I really like that it's in a pencil. That's nice. Okay, let's move on to the Miracle Bombs. Yeah, so I got two shades. I got Dusty Rose and Bronze thinking I'd probably use it mostly on my cheeks. Um, again, I read on the website that you could, you know, use it kind of all over your face or whatever. I don't think I'm gonna wanna put a bomb especially when it's this warm out and I have tons of SPF on. I don't think I'm gonna wanna put a bomb <laughs> all over my face. It's said on the site to make sure that you kind of break through the top seal of this bomb. So that's what I did. I kind of just like pressed my finger in there and you'll see that like top layer. And then, you know, if you kind of just run your finger over this without doing that breaking the seal, cause I tried, you'll just only get kind of like the balminess of it. So you really wanna break the seal to actually get the pigment and like the true sense of the balm. So that is what the bronze looks like. Tap. It has almost like a, a menthol, a menthol kind of scent, but I feel like that's camouflaging something, something not so pleasant. I definitely don't smell it once it's applied to my uh, face. I just smell it on my finger here. So I'm being fairly generous with this because it is so sheer, you know, it's not something with a ton of pigment in there, um, but there is a little something. And I'm gonna try actually using this with a brush and I'm going to use, should I use one of my Sonia G's? Actually, I have not washed these uh, since my video, so I'm gonna try something else. I'm actually gonna try my Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush. But this is a balm, so it's even kind of stickier than um, a typical kind of cream or, or liquid product. But I wanna see how this works. 
with a brush. It stays fairly emollient on the skin, which is not my favorite thing. I mean, it is a balm. I didn't really expect it to like set down completely to like a powder finish or anything, but it is just, you know, just to note, there is a little bit of like a balmy stickiness to it. All right, so that is the bronze color. And then let me show you Dusty Rose, the other shade that I got. So here's Dusty Rose, isn't that pretty? So I did the same thing. I like broke through that seal. So I'm just gonna use the same brush. It's all gonna be blended on my face anyway. Let's apply that here. It really is so sheer, it's really pretty. I, I can definitely see pigment wise using it all over your face because it is just very, very sheer. It'll just add a little bit of like rosiness. You can see a little bit of rosiness, like if you wanna add it to like the center of your forehead, maybe like your nose area just to kind of give you a little bit of like a sunburn color but because it's a balm I just don't know that I like kind of putting it all over yeah it's pretty sticky on my cheek wow it definitely gives you that like beautiful glow that balmy glow and I have to say this is probably the most successful product I've used. I feel like any product that's tried to give you this sort of look and feel in the past has been very editorial. So it's almost like unwearable, like it looks great in pictures and on video. It's this really neat, like kind of like gooey balm, <laughs> like shine on your face, but it's completely unwearable. Like you, you wouldn't actually go out in public with it. It just, it's goopy or whatever. This is definitely, you know, on the sticky side, but I don't feel like it's one of those um, I think like Kevin O'Quan had one. They're like face glosses. Kevin O'Quan had one. I remember Pat McGrath had one and one for kits. And they're just, yeah, they're just almost like unwearable. They're really just for like fashion shoots or whatever. This is more wearable than those. All right, next up, let's try the brow pencil. So this is shaped just like that face pencil. And it's like a little chubby pencil. And I got the shade Brunette. I can't remember how many shades they have, but this is what it looks like. And when I first got this package, opened it up and sort of swatched this brow pencil, it didn't seem, it didn't seem hard enough. <laughs> so we'll see. I may end up looking like Groucho Marx at the end of this, but I'm using very, very light pressure right now. It's like flaking a little bit, let's see. doesn't feel like a very waxy pencil. It actually just feels a little bit dry. I think I'll definitely want to use um, a brow gel on top of this. If you don't have as unruly eyebrow hairs as I do, you can probably forego that step, but I really need to control them a little bit. So I've got that Nude Sticks Brow Boost Set Gel XL. And I really like this brow gel because it keeps your brows uh, flexible. All right, so I have three eye products to choose from. I think I'll save the powder um, eyeshadow for another video. It is really, really beautiful. Well, let me show it to you. I got the shade Patina. Look at that. So this is what the powder shadows look like. They come in these little round compacts. Such a Michelle color. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Um, but I did get two of these Just A Sec eyeshadows. And when I first opened these up, the product in the little pot here, it looked like, actually you can still see it, it looks like it's coming up, like I had to actually press it, press it down a little bit. So this product is kind of putty-like, kind of cream-like. It is on the softer side, but it's not like like a cream, like the Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury, Eyes to Mesmerize kind. It's definitely not like that. It's definitely more of a putty, but it's not quite as dense of a putty as like the Westman Atelier iPods. So it's a really nice texture. I think it's a really nice texture. And these have a really beautiful, like soft sheen to them. So here is, what shade is this? This is pewter. So this is pewter. And so compared to what it looks like in the little pot here you can see it's like a little bit more sheer well it's more sheer than what i thought it was going to be so here is topaz so there is topaz so topaz pewter and then the patine powder eyeshadow should i go with the topaz 
yeah, since I'm wearing such a bright red dress, let me go with the topaz and I think I'm just gonna use my finger. Really, really pretty, really easy to apply. And I put down that face pencil over my eyes and it is layering nicely. I don't feel like it's balling up that product or anything like that. So there, there's Topaz. Just adds like a little, a little something to your eyes. Nothing major. It's just like the perfect eyeshadow for my recent mood. Just, just a little something. All right, those were all the Jones Road stuff that I got. Yeah, that's it. I um, I really like the eyeshadows a lot. That face pencil is surprising. I don't know how I feel about the eyeshadow pencil or these Miracle Bombs yet. I like the idea, definitely, of these Miracle Bombs. And I really like the way my skin looks, for sure. I just don't know if I'm going to like something. It's not that tacky, but tacky on my on my skin. We'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and yeah, get on with my day. I'll bring you along with anything that seems fairly interesting. I'm just gonna be working and dealing with some stuff and hopefully I'll be able to give you a quick little life update at the end of this vlog, but it's exciting. So definitely stick around. How's my little patient? You seem fine. You seem fine. Hmm? You wanna say hi to your fans out there? Wanna say hi? Why are you being shy, baby? Good thing mommy just washed your hands, huh? <laughs> okay, I think your tummy is rested. I'm gonna feed you now, okay? All right, baby? So I have to run some errands and I threw on my Dior sandals and I realized I don't think I've actually shown these to you guys since I hauled them in that fashion haul I did a while ago. Anyway, I love them. They're so super comfy. And the Velcro is, I mean, what's better than Velcro, huh? Okay, unfortunately, I think I have to give a thumbs down to this Miracle Bomb. My hair keeps getting stuck in it. I thought possibly it wasn't as tacky as that, but it, it is. So I have to tie my hair back now. Either that or wash my face. No, I'm just gonna tie my hair back. <laughs> But yeah, I I mean, it's why I don't like tacky, tacky face products. I'm sure you guys feel me. Um, of course, of course now I can't find a hairband. All right, running some errands now. I'm bringing you along for the ride, even though it is not exciting at all. <laughs> I just have to drop a box off at UPS. I think I have some boxes there. I think, I don't know, it's so... <laughs> I'm having a really hard time keeping track of anything these days and yeah I just I hate that about myself um just yesterday I probably wasted half of my day looking for my father's death certificates sorry I don't mean to be morbid but it's just it's paperwork I, I lost track of it it's very important paperwork if you're trying to you know get life insurance <laughs> you know the things that you need upon death. Anyway, I, I can't I can't find them. I have no idea what I did with them. And that's, you know, I'm not the most organized person, but I don't, I don't generally lose really important paperwork. So I just, I was like turning like every single room upside down and I don't live in a really large apartment. And I'm like, what? I must've like thrown them out by accident or again, very unlike me, just, oh God, like literally spent four hours just going through everything, just looking at places. I know I didn't leave um, them there. Just looking at all these like really random places. Ugh, I was like, what is going on? But anyway, that that is my state of mind lately. And oh, it's so frustrating. So, so frustrating. Anyway, we did have a slight reprieve in the heat wave yesterday. Um, it rained it actually rained for like I don't know five minutes um and it was like that annoying rain it's like east coast rain where sometimes it rains and it doesn't actually like help it just feels more humid afterwards and that's what happened here it just felt really really muggy afterwards and I was like oh no 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 Vegas cannot be muggy because if it's muggy on top of it being like 120 degrees like absolutely not no that's not allowed <laughs> no no can't have that so anyway it did pass 
we're kind of having a normal, more normal day today where it's gonna be in the hundreds or whatever and it's dry again. Uh, which is its only, only saving grace is that it's dry. All right, packages have been retrieved from UPS. I had a lot more there than I thought. Next stop is Dwayne, uh, Walgreens. I still, <laughs> I still say Dwayne Reed, which is uh, a New York thing, but Walgreens, I believe, bought Dwayne Reed, and now they're all Walgreens. I don't know, and maybe in New York, they're still Dwayne Reed, whatever. I'm going to Walgreens now uh, because we ran out of mouthwash. I'm a big mouthwash swisher because um there's really nothing worse than than bad breath okay so i was trying this peroxide free mouthwash for a while and it just doesn't whiten it doesn't whiten your teeth as much so i'm gonna get i think i'm gonna get glamorous white all right wow at uh, this sorry this angle is real special i have you propped up on my vitamix um, I just want to open up some of these packages I just picked up at UPS because they look really interesting. This, hi baby. This one is from Salt, New York, from Kiki. Um, she has some of the best like cream products and I need to do, hold me to this guys. I need to do a video on her products because I've been playing around with them and I wear them every once in a while and I just, um, oh, shoot. Please keep secret until 626. What's today? Hold on. What's today? Oh, shoot. Today, I think, is the 25th. I'm putting this up. Okay. Sorry. I'm so sorry. That was such a psych out. Should I peek? No, that's mean. That's mean. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. We love Salt New York. <laughs> but I can't talk about it until then. Let me get some of these other boxes. There are some other interesting looking ones. Okay, a very heavy box from Tatcha. Oh, this box is very Tatcha-esque. It's very like origami. Look, it like opens up like that. Isn't that cool? The Essence, I don't think this is a new product, is it? A plumping skin softener, 100% pure. I don't think this is new. I'm like paranoid now after seeing <laughs> the card in uh, Salt's uh, package. Now I'm like, oh, can I talk about this? Can I talk about this? Newly, oh, the newly advanced Essence. We're delighted to share our newly advanced skincare boosting re uh, treatment retreat. Treatment, the Essence. It's $105. I think it's available now. How to use. Use daily after cleansing and before any other skincare product. Okay, like a toner. Splash a palmful of the essence into your hand and press gently into the skin on your face and neck. Wow, thank you very much, Tatcha. This looks great. Oh, I stopped recording. Strange. Anyway, I <laughs> opened up some more boxes. I had no idea what this was. This is actually an order that I placed at Burberry uh, because more and more of their makeup seems to be made available on their site. And I saw that they had a cushion foundation that I was not aware of. Um, and so I ordered, ordered that ultimate glow cushion. Hi baby. I got it in the shade 30, light neutral. And here's the compact. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's gonna be all sealed up, but here's the cushion. I'm gonna do like a Burberry um, makeup video because I got those face palettes. Did I get the eyeshadow? I can't even remember, it's so long ago. I think I got the eyeshadow palette. Or maybe I just got the two, no, maybe I skipped the eyeshadow palette. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I got the face palettes, which I've been meaning to um, share with you guys, but it, it's been sold out. Anyway, it's back in stock on their site. So I ordered this other stuff to go along with that and maybe do a whole video. This is the Burberry Kisses Gloss in the shade Coral Rose number 64. Ooh, it's all sparkly. No, oh, that's my espresso machine turning off. Um, it's all sparkly. Nice. So anyway, that is coming. That was in those two smaller boxes. Okay, that was all that was really of interest in those boxes. Um, and definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to see what's in this salt envelope. I'm so curious myself. Um, but my husband just came down here and I think he needs me for something. So I will be back later. Hey guys, so it has been a while actually since I vlogged last and I know I started the vlog by telling you I was hoping to have some 
good news, uh, some news to share with you at the end of the vlog. And uh, basically, long story short, um, we have bought a house. <laughs> so uh, the closing ended up getting delayed, which is not unusual, but very frustrating. Um, it got delayed several days. So um, I decided to just stop vlogging and thought, you know, I'll just come back on when we actually close. So we closed, I have my new house keys and uh, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm really, really excited. This is a very new adventure for us as you guys, or you may not know, but um, my husband and I moved here from New York City. So we used to own um, a condo in New York. You know, when we moved here, we just didn't know we just didn't know <laughs> like what what we wanted to do, where we wanted to live, what, what kind of housing we wanted. We want to just, you know, we obviously started renting when we moved here. Do we want to continue um, renting? Did, did we want to buy? Um, you know, home ownership is not always the best. <laughs> not always the best. I'll just leave it there. So anyway, we ended up house hunting and I just fell in love with a house and we thought, let's just try it. We're living in the suburbs now. Let's just, let's just lean into this suburban life and get uh, an actual house. So while we've owned a home before, we've never owned an actual like single family house. <laughs> so this is gonna be really interesting, really interesting for us city folk. So that is the big news. And I am planning on doing like an empty house tour. And uh, you know, I, I just personally love watching those and if, um, that is something that you guys would like. Please let me know down below in the comment section. But yes, I would love to share that with you guys. It's, uh, yeah, it's just going to be such an adventure. That's also why I was saying at the beginning of this vlog that I was going to be vlogging probably a lot more because I, I just, I have a lot of um, packing to do. I have a lot of things to get rid of, you know, to donate or to throw away and um, just yeah, just a lot, just a lot of stuff to do. So um, I don't know that I'm going to have a lot of time to actually sit down and film. I will definitely try. I mean, I, that's, you know, <laughs> that's what I like to do. But we're, we're going to be vlogging a lot more, at least until we're settled um, in the new house. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. And I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. Again, the idea of like actually owning a, like a home home, <laughs> but I am excited. So anyway, um, that's the big news and I'm going to end this vlog here and the next video that you see will will maybe be I don't know we'll see anyway an empty house tour is coming stay tuned for that and um, thank you guys so much for tuning in I will see you in my next video